if you don't have the opportunity to follow the counting process going on right now in Abuja, the collision center, just know that I am here for you. I'm going to be bringing you updates as it happens, as it unfolds. You guys, just a few hours ago, Dino Milaye raised some concerns at the collision center, which was the fact that the number of accredited, uh, the number of people accredited in Ekiti and the number of total vote counts did not match. The number of total vote count was greater than the number of accreditation. And you guys know that hmm, that is an ab abnormally and it only makes, means one thing and one thing only, which is that something has gone wrong somewhere. It only means that, you know, some people have miscalculated or they have added some figure that is not supposed to be there to it. He also said that uh, INEC should project the, the numbers that they are calling on the projector screen right there and then and i next said that they couldn't do that probably due to some technical difficulties he said that if you cannot do that okay allow our agents to verify and you know agree with the numbers you are calling so that there will not be any uh, disagreement eyes eyes uh, eyes reactions or opinions valid of course they are all valid but guess what i neck did i net i neck paid no attention to tino milai and just went on with the process after a while when they noticed that i neck was doing nothing about it Dino milai and labor party agents and a few others stormed out of the collation center and now we have a response from Baba Obasanjo. Obasanjo is in short telling INEC that you people be careful so that this does not cause an uprising or this not, does not cause you know fights or something that you you did not plan for in Nigeria. Before we go ahead with the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you will be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other youtube viewers all around the world lastly please leave your comments in the comment section without further ado let's delve right into the details of today's news former president olushegun obasanjo has raised the alarm that danger is lurking around the country over the alleged compromise of the ongoing election process. Obasanjo appealed to the President, Major General Muhammadu Buhari retired, to prevail on the Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Yakubo, to stop the process and rectify the allegations raised against it from many quarters. The presidential and national assembly elections were held on Saturday and the collation of results were being done at the National Collation Center in Abuja. The People's Democratic Party and Labour Party have kicked against the process, describing it as compromised. A former senator from Kogi West, Dino Milai, and other party representatives walked out of a center after raising issues bordering on irregularities in the process of election. Obasanjo, in a personally signed letter titled An Appeal for Caution and Rectification, released on Monday, said some politicians had compromised some electoral officials to make the bimodal voter accreditation system machines not to work. He said, I am constrained to speak at this point. I crave the indulgence of a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency General Muhammad Obuhari, to make this statement because I have had opportunity to keep him aware of what I know is happening and the danger looming ahead. On many occasions in the past, I have not hesitated to point out lacuna in the action of a president and his government. 
but as far as the election issues are concerned, the president has proved beyond reasonable doubt that he will want to leave a legacy of free, fair, transparent and credible elections. Until last Saturday night, February 25, 2023, the good and noble plan and preparation for the election seemed to be going well. For the Independent National Electoral Commission, a lot of money was spent to introduce by model voter accreditation system Beavers and a server for immediate transmission of results from polling units. It is no secret that INEC officials at operational levels have been allegedly compromised to make what should have worked not to work and to revert to manual transmission of results which is manipulated and the result doctored. The chairman of INEC may claim ignorance but he cannot fold his hands and do nothing when he knows that election process has been corrupted and most of the results that are brought outside Beavers and Sava are not a true reflection of the will of Nigerians who have made their individual choice. At this stage, we do not need wittingly or unwittingly to set this country on fire with the greed, irresponsibility and unpatriotic acts of those who allegedly gave money to INEC officials for perversion and those who collected the blood money. Let me appeal to the chairman of INEC if his hands are clean to save the country from the looming danger and disaster which is just waiting to happen. If the chairman can postpone elections four days to the election, he can do everything to rectify the errors of the last two days. No beavers, no results to be acceptable and no uploading through server no result to be acceptable. Whereas beavers and servers have been manipulated or rendered inactive, such results must be declared void and inadmissible for election declaration. Chairman Einek, I have thought that you would use this wonderful opportunity to mend your reputation and character of posterity for posterity. Your Excellency, President Buhari, tension is building up and please let all elections that do not pass the credibility and transparency test be cancelled and be brought back with areas where elections were disrupted for next Saturday, March 4, 2023, and beavers and server officials be changed to know which stations or polling units were manipulated, let a committee of INEC staff and representatives of the four major political parties with the chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association look into what must be done to have a each free elections next Saturday. Mr. President, may your plan and hope for leaving a legacy of free, fair, transparent and credible election be realized. Mr. President, please don't let anybody say to you that it does not matter or it is the problem of INEC. On no account should you be seen as part of a collusion or compromise. When the die is cast, it will be your problem as a chief executive of the nation. The chairman of INEC may sneak out of a country or go back to his ivory tower. Your Excellency, thank you for hearing me out. Patriots, patriotic Nigerians, please exercise patience until the wrong is righted. I strongly believe that nobody will toy with the future and fortune of Nigeria at this juncture. So this is from Baba Obasanjo. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.